Uh, I'm back in my bag. My eyes but sharp, but my jet don't lag. Da 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 da. I'll Gucci airbag just in case we crash. More rainy. What's good, guys? Welcome back to my channel. You're watching What's the Chat with Nobs. Let's get straight into today's video. guys and welcome back to my channel you're watching what's the chat and if this is your first time visiting my channel please do like subscribe and comment if you like what you see and you want to join the chat with your girl um, and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for being with me today for a new video and um, so for today I just wanted to do sort of like a life update but also more so speaking about the politics and also the struggles of like online learning um and the academic year to basically just speak about iskela um i wanted to speak about that because uh well i'm in like a weird space with my academics right i don't even want to call it weird but i had to take a huge decision um regarding my academics and this is like the last stretch you know we're in the last few we're almost done the race to end the academic year and i think it's more hot than ever so also just to chop about that share my views on that share my struggles with that and then also you know hear from you guys in the comments what you're struggling with how you're doing with school and also just a little bit of a little motivation you know what i mean to keep us going for the rest of the year um so for those of you that don't know, I have mentioned on my on my channel before, but if this is like your first time dropping by or maybe you haven't come across it, I am in university. So I'm studying, I'm a student, I'm in third year um, and I'm studying towards a Bachelor of Journalism. So at the moment, I am specializing in television, in journalism, also studying media studies. And then I'm also majoring, my second major is drama. Um, and in drama, I have chosen directing as an elective for the semester. And last semester, I was doing acting. So it's really broad. I'm doing quite a lot. Um, and I'm also doing theatre studies. So within that is theatre studies, directing and voice. And then I've got my journalism and media studies and my elective and specialization, which is television. Um, so that's a lot um, on my plate. I remember when I first started this degree because a lot of people don't necessarily major in drama in June um it's very possible a lot of people have done it before me but I remember my dean just saying like are you sure about this like are you sure because um it's quite a hectic degree um so yeah that's what I've been doing for the past three years um and it is a hectic degree indeed um but I felt like I was really doing well with the pressure and just figuring it all out and doing both when I was on campus um you know my degrees are very practical so for television uh we physically film everything behind the camera learning about the producing the admin all that stuff and that took a lot of um group work and a lot of contact so we were on campus all the time booking out cameras tripods and you know learning about all the tv stuff and then for drama of course we're always on stage we're moving i was acting i was directing i was writing doing all these things but mostly on stage you know with other bodies and doing all of that so i've got two very practical degrees and then on top of that um i am a radio presenter at Rhodes music radio um i took a break from that too which i'll speak about just now but that's what i was doing um those are my other responsibilities and then i also tutor so i'm a tutor for um journalism media studies one so i'm a part of like the Rhodes university staff so that's a really like a long list of things um and then of course i was also doing youtube which i'm really dedicated to um and it's, i'm saying that because it's just as important like i see it almost as important as school so that was another um responsibility um and then also i am an alan gray fellow um so for those of you who know what that is or if you've heard about alan gray um it's like a scholarship entrepreneurship program and i started that this year um and it's also a lot of work it's one of the only scholarships or fellowships um i think that i've heard of where yeah they like cover your tuition and all that kind of stuff but there's stuff that we have to work towards throughout the year in terms of our personal growth our entrepreneurial growth etc 
to actually um, keep your scholarship. So that's like a whole other course on its own. And anyone who's an Alan Gray can attest to this. Um, it's an amazing opportunity. I'm so grateful. Um, but it's a lot of work. And, you know, that's just how it is. So that, I named about maybe eight things. If my math is good, which it's not. But I named about eight things that I was doing on a regular basis. Um, and as of now, I'm actually, as you can see, in a different environment. I actually came home. This is my second full week at home. Um, and I left Grahamstown to actually focus on everything because I wasn't coping. That's the truth. Like, I really wasn't coping. Um, and then I also think, like, I don't think anyone could have prepared for how difficult online schooling was going to be. Um, like, I'm not going to lie, guys. It was a point this year where I was like, if I could drop out right now, I would. My mental health shaky. My emotional health shaky and it wasn't even just this year like it's always been a bit you know but i think that this year during lockdown and corona and being locked in the house and all of that really got me thinking a lot about like my childhood and a lot of the issues that i may have or emotional mental you know struggles that i've always been going through but it felt like it was just amplified this year um and in Grahamstown, I was in an environment where I was always surrounded by my friends. I was always around people, which was keeping me going. But my coping mechanisms were not that healthy, you know, going out a lot, um, always rocking, always doing those vibes. And listen, I've always been a person who was able to balance. Um, honestly, I, not, not to be modest, but I'm, I'm a nerd. Like, I'm really nerdy. I really love learning. Um, I really like getting good marks and I've always kept my marks up and for the first time this year I was like in the environment that I was in I, I wasn't able to handle it like I wasn't handling the work I wasn't handling the pressure I was so behind in all of my courses and all of my lectures no matter how much I tried to like catch up no matter how much routine I did no matter how many timetables I drew up it just wasn't working um, and I think like almost two weeks ago um, after a Friday night out, I literally just called my mom and I was like, please come get me, bro. Like, I'm not doing well. Like, can you please come and get me? Like, I want to come home. Um, and I basically moved all my stuff, like every single thing that I owned, every piece of clothing, all my shoes, everything. My mom came, put it in a van and I came back home. And lucky for me, I only live an hour and a half away from campus. So, um... I had that luxury of actually coming back, obviously, because we're not on campus, but Port Elizabeth is only like an hour and a half away from Grahamstown. So, um, yeah, I came home and it's honestly one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. I don't know why, like I found it very hard. I found it very scary. I was so scared. I remember thinking to myself, like, I was like, I don't know why I'm scared. Like I've been here before, like, every single word every single feed every single emotion i know what this is like i know i can get through it but i was so scared to come home i was so scared to like let go of my comfortability and some of my really bad and toxic coping mechanisms like to just be here within myself you know at home and it's been really great like who would have known that i only needed like 10 days 11 12 days to really get myself together and my main priority um was that I actually can't slack in school. I actually don't have the privilege to even defer my exams or get a leave of absence because of my scholarship. And I just kept thinking like, I was like, I don't think I can do this, but I don't have, like, I can't lose my scholarship. Like I need funding for next year. I need to make things easy for my mom. I need to keep up all the great things that I'm doing. I can't, I can't go the opposite direction. Um, and that pressure was killing me. Uh, it got to a point where I was on radio and doing really great, but even there I was just starting to slack. Um, and I think the hardest thing for me was feeling like I was losing motivation. Not only was it difficult to actually do the work, not only was it difficult to actually get up and be productive and feel like I'm doing great, but I was losing like my purpose. I didn't know what I wanted to do anymore. Like I'd wake up and, and often like compare myself to other people and, and look at all these people that are my age and like doing all these amazing things. You know, you sometimes fall into that really bad habit of just comparing yourself. And I was like, what am I doing? Like, do I even like my degree? Do I even like what I'm doing? 
what am I gonna do after this, you know? And I was so stuck in that deep, dark place um, that I went for like a whole month. No one knows this, but like a whole month of June, like I didn't do any schoolwork. I, like I didn't touch a book. And it got to a point where I wasn't even like, you know, they're stressing, guys, you know, they're stressing about deadlines. And there's like, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And eventually like, okay, girl, get, get, do it, you know, because you got a lot to lose. I wasn't even there. Like I was like, I just don't care. Like I'm not gonna do it. Um, and the biggest mistake I did was not to communicate that with the people around me, specifically like my mom and my lecturers and my mentor in my program. Um, I was just pretending like everything's okay. And I remember thinking, no, we'll say if you don't communicate and you don't make a change or do something about this now, you're gonna end up failing the year and then no one's gonna actually know how to help you because you didn't say anything, you know? Um, and then that's when I actually did say something and I'm really glad that I did and I came home and I got the break that I needed So yeah, overall, I'm not a fan of online learning. Uh, I don't know if anyone is really like school sucks already School's really difficult when we're on campus already, but I think bringing it online, especially for my degree. I just think It doesn't work like we're trying to make it work. Obviously, I understand why it's no one's fault um, It's Corona's fault um, and they're doing the best that I can and I'm grateful for that because I would really really like like everyone to finish in due time Although time is a concept. Um, I don't even really believe in that, but you know, I, I, I want to See myself finish or at least get my credits for the year. So I'm glad that they made a plan But it's really not working and it's stressing me out and it's it's difficult. It's hard It's it, it puts you in a space where you're constantly doubting yourself, you know, can I do this? Um, losing a lot of confidence in yourself um, and so you know the point of this video was just to share that if you are someone who's feeling like that it's okay to take a break like it's okay to say that I'm not okay it's also okay if you're in the position unlike me where you can get a leave of absence or where you can defer your exams to actually do that you know we want to force ourselves to make things normal and to be normal and act normal when things are not normal at all um, and I think that's why I almost put myself in a space where I just wasn't gonna be able to make a comeback but I'm in a better space um, I'm so happy about that and I'm actually gonna go back to school on Friday morning um, and the reason I'm doing that is because Friday that will be tomorrow I think or in two days from when this video posts um, but I actually have stuff that I need to do at school so I need to go film some TV stuff and I pitched a lot of stories that were based in Grahamstown so I just want to go there and finish up um, and also I miss like my friends I miss my life there I miss um, a lot of the things that I used to do, you know, on the just the, the daily basis that would keep me going that are not in PE, that don't exist here. So I feel stronger, I feel like I've got a clear head and I feel more confident in going back. So I'm going back on Friday um, and I actually will be vlogging that, like I'm going to vlog a day in my life for that. So you guys will see my prep and see, you know, how I travel from here back home to Graham's time, you know, back and forth, just my life, basically, my student life in quarantine in Corona times. Um, but yeah, it's okay to feel like that. And I think it becomes scary when you feel like that consistently. I used to go through these things maybe once in a while and I was able to bring myself back, but it was really scary for me to experience this over four months. Um, and I should have taken a break sooner. Um, it's not really a break. I'm still working. I'm still studying. I'm still doing everything I need to do, but I should have asked for help a bit sooner. So I have a couple tips for online learning that could help you guys um, that have worked for me and I've been keeping my marks up um, good enough to even keep my scholarship. So um, yeah, hopefully if anyone really needs this advice, this will help you out. So it's really just two things. Um, you know, everyone talks about a routine, wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, go to school, take breaks. That doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for everyone. Uh, I rather write a list of things that I need to get done before a specific date and I don't put a time frame on it because I mentally have the ability to like know how much I can do in a day and to tick things off slowly. I've done this, 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 I've done this. And I know that by the 12th of November, if that's the due date, 
I mentally know how to space everything out to make sure that it's done by that date. So what really helps me is just writing a to-do list. Literally writing down every single thing. Even if you need to fix an assignment or read a reading, something small, or Google the, a definition. Write it down. Google the definition of and tick it off. Seeing it ticked off makes you feel like you know what you're doing. You are doing stuff. You're getting things done. And um, it also allows me to not be in here too much because I spend way too much time up here. So yeah, just planning things out. And then the second thing I think I say would help is not being afraid to ask for help. Um, you know, I'm a perfectionist by nature and when everything else in my life was falling apart, school was always what I had on lock. Um, and I never let that fall. So it was scary to be in a space where I couldn't even control that. Ask for help. I wish I'd asked for help sooner. I'd be less overwhelmed right now with everything that I need to do and all my deadlines, but I know I'm gonna get it done. And also just remind yourself that you are capable and you are deserving and you are worthy of doing well. You know? Like sometimes I'm just like, gosh, it's gonna take so much of me to give more to this. You know, like I need to, it's gonna, do, it's gonna be so much for me to, like I always often ask myself, I hope I can explain this properly, how much more can I give and how much more do I have to push myself to reach a point where I feel like I'm doing enough and even more than that. And in my head, I'm like, I'm willing to do it no matter how far I have to push myself. You know, it's that thing I'm always constantly thinking that I need to reach my goal and leave everything on the table so that if it doesn't go well, I can at least say that I did that. And even when I'm doing the most and I can't do more, I feel like I should be doing more. So just trust that you are deserving of getting your A. You are deserving of being excellent, of getting incredible marks, of finishing off the year. You deserve to, if your circumstances allow, if you have the resources to finish off the year. And when I constantly remind myself that, no, you deserve this. Push, you deserve this. Like, work. That's all it needs to take. You've got it, it's already here. Do it because you deserve it. It's easier for me to just get up and not procrastinate. And it's easier for me to be like, you know what, actually, like I'm deserving of this. I know I can do well. I know I can do amazing. Um, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to put it on that paper. I'm going to do it, you know? So, yeah, I hope that I um, articulated myself well and was able to give you guys a little bit of a life update and letting you know what's happening in my life. Um, yeah, I do plan to shoot stuff. I've got such exciting content always. It's amazing. Like, my content never runs out. I have a list of things, you guys. Um, and I can't wait to film some more this month um, coming into November. Um, and also, I just wanted to wish everyone an amazing, blessed, productive season of exams and assessments a season of growth healing of finding yourself of being proud of yourself of being happy um and just doing your best that's all that matters that was a ring at the door which i might have to go get just now but um yeah that's of just doing your best and never doubt um how much you're capable of and always try your best and do your best um, and yeah, I will see you guys at the end of exam season. I'll still be here, I'll be filming, but I can't wait to vlog my summer with you. Like, I cannot wait to vlog my summer and just wake up and not have something due. Like, I cannot wait for that. Um, but until then, good luck, love and light. Honestly, love each and every one of you that support me constantly on this platform. And um, we don't even know half of you, but I feel like I do. Uh, just because of the support and the engagement that you give me all the time. So thank you so much and good luck for your exam season. Um, if you are a student and if you are working, not working, whatever the last stretch, whatever the last dance means for you, um, you know, you're capable and you can do this. So let's do it, guys. Let's rock. Let's do it. Let's rock. Let's finish. And let's finish really strong. If you did make it to the end of this video, thank you so much again for being here with me. I will be back with more videos and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment because I am on the way to 2,000 subscribers and I would really like to be on 2K subscribers by the end of the year. That would be like a good, that would be a very subtle and satisfying goal to reach. Um, so please do share, um, like, subscribe and comment. Thank you guys. Bye.